Don't get the pressure. Don't get the pressure. Ooh. Oh my lord. Oh my god, she's gorge. Oh my god. Carantini's doing a good pitch. <laughs> oh, Carantini's doing a good. I can see it there. <laughs> everyone, what's poppin'? My name is and welcome back to my channel. Hello allemaal. So in today's video, we're gonna create this, by the way, super nice eye. Like, look how beautiful. And also this Kenzo on top of my face. I got inspired by someone. I saw it. I'm gonna take a look. It was obviously not with Kenzo. It was with something else. And also not with the eye look and the lip look. I did it myself. But the guy who inspired me was Jose Miraglia. Jose Miraglia. I don't know. He did something like this with the tired on his face. And first I was like, maybe I should do board on my face, but well, that didn't happen. So I did Kenzo because obviously it's also with like five letters. So that's what I did. And yeah, if you want to see how I create this look, then please keep on watching. We obviously first gonna start with priming our face and I'm gonna use the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer, Primer and Moisturizer for that. I really like this one. I got this, I think it was in a, in a package together with something else, with another primer, with my usual primer. And it's nice, it's moisturizing, so I really like it. I love the feeling of it on a fresh shaped skin. For the foundation, I'm gonna again use the Superstay 24 hour full coverage foundation by Maybelline. I just love this one so much. So I'm gonna use it again. Like, why should I get something else when I love using this? By the way, my hair fucked up. Mess. Mess. So I'm gonna use this one in the 30 cent with my Maria Malky beauty sponge. Like, I'm still so in love with it. I cleaned it out so many times and it still has that really nice red Bordeaux color. I. I'm obsessed like with some beauty sponges when you wash them the color like fades away and with this one it literally doesn't and so bouncy Normally I was gonna do my eyes first. I just remember <laughs> I'm gonna do yellow on my eyes So it's gonna be like really difficult with fallout That looks a tiny bit better, doesn't it? And then we're gonna use the Jeffree Star Magic Star Concealer and I am gonna use this in the C13. Underneath the eyes, I'm gonna blend it out with the Maria Malky Beauty Sponge and also here, but on top of the nose, I like to use a brush for that. Ah, love the difference. Like, the difference is so unreal. It's like one side just woke up like, Hi, good morning. And the other side is still asleep. But we're gonna wake it now. Also gonna put it here. And we are gonna use a beauty sponge still. And here. Now for the nose, I'm gonna use the Maria Malky number no. seven brush. Like, look how smooth it looks already. I can't. I'm gonna use the La Mercier translucent powder on top of it. And so we're gonna set it right away with the Maria Malky number no. one brush. And with the Maria number no. 3 brush, we are gonna bake right away underneath the eye and on our nose. And we're gonna put like a thick layer because we're gonna do our eyeshadow. And I know there's gonna be a lot of fallout, I'm sure, because it's yellow. Where you 
Now when we have this going on, I'm first going to do the brows and then I'm going to start with my eyeshadows. But I am going to do the brows off camera again because like I said, I showed you a hundred million times and I can't be bothered to show it again. Well, maybe in the future, but not now. So I'm going to use, as always, the Benefit Products Precisely My Brow Pencil in number six and the Gimme Brow in number five. So I'm going to do this really quickly and then I'm coming back. Also, when I did that, I'm going to use the Magic Star Concealer again to conceal my eyes uh, and to carve out the brow and I'm gonna set it with the La Mercier translucent powder really lightly and then I will be back guess who's back in the house I'm gonna put some tape on my eye and I know I'm gonna screw this fucking thing up because I have already foundation on but I forgot and yeah that's literally my life so let's hope and pray that it doesn't take too much of my foundation away that's so annoying by the way I think my eyebrows different uh, I don't know if it's good don't really like it but you know had to try it. Okay, you guys, so the first thing that I'm going to do is to use my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper Black. We are going to create a soft eyeliner, but we're gonna blend it out, so it doesn't need to be perfect. Like I said, look, it doesn't need to be sharp. Then we're gonna take the Maria Malky uh, number 10 brush, a brush like this, and we're gonna dip into the darkest black I have, and that's a naked to blackout from Urban Decay, this one. And we're gonna blend this out a tiny bit. I'm gonna take the number nine brush by Maria Malky to blend these edges a little tiny bit. So then we're gonna take our Carnival XL Pro Palette as always from Be Perfect Cosmetics and Stacey Marie and I'm gonna take the Maria Malkin number 9 brush again and we're gonna dip into this Bordeaux color which is reckless, this one. We have to be very careful with this one because we don't wanna put too too much. And we're gonna blend it a tiny bit in the crease. Okay, it's too purplish. I hate it. I'm gonna put a little bit of slow burn in there. Literally, I'm such a stupid ass because it's so purple. Now it's better. I was like, why the fuck am I putting purple on my fucking eyelid? Such a stupid ass. Okay, so now that we have this, I'm gonna take a clean brush. So I'm gonna use the Maria Maki number 11 brush. We're gonna dip into the same palette into Keen. That's uh, this yellow color. And now we have to see that we don't have a lot of fallout because this bitch can cause a lot of fallout. I'm just gonna put the yellow on top of it. So we're gonna take our Zoeva 230 Lux Pencil, we're gonna dip into the yellow color again, and we're gonna make it a little bit more pigmented. And with the same brush, we're gonna dip again into Slow Burn. With this, we're gonna make it a little bit more warm again because with that purplish border shade, mm, that was not supposed to happen. It's coming together, it's coming together. Believe in yourself, Kenzo. So then we're gonna take the Maria Malkin number 11 brush and we're gonna dip into the Thirsty Palette by Jeffree Star Cosmetics and we're gonna dip into the color Queen, which is a lighter yellow shade. To be honest, it's not ugly. Is it yellow? Well, we can discuss about that because it's not yellow in my opinion. So with that black color that we used, I'm just gonna put a little bit on the sides again. And yeah, then we're gonna do the cut crease. Okay, are we ready to see what damage we caused with this fucking thingies? Oh, shit, shit. Oh my god, guys, I fucked it up. Okay, I'm gonna wipe the baking off right now, and we hope that we can fix this part. I knew this was going to happen, guys, I knew. If it fucks up now, <laughs> this look is, 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 is done. It's done. 
Um, well, I think I can blend it with the rest. Now it's a bit lighter, but obviously we're still gonna set this bitch. So we're gonna do that now with the Laura Mercier Translation Powder. And we're gonna bake. I'm gonna use the Jeffree Star Small Sponge for it with Morphe. And hope that it can bake all our sins away. Obviously, right now we're gonna cut the craze, and I'm gonna do it with the Jeffree Star Magic Star um, concealer again in the same shade. I think I'm gonna try the Mud 320 brush to cut the crease, and obviously after that we're gonna set it with the Laura Mercier translucent powder. Okay, so now we're gonna start with our cut crease again. I'm gonna take my Maria Malkin number 10 brush and we're gonna dip right away in slow burn again. Not in that fucking purple color because that literally fucked it up. So this one. So then we're gonna take the 234 Lux Smoky Shader from Zoeva and we're gonna dip into the color Keen. This one, the warmer yellow. That was the shade that I really wanted like in my crease, but it didn't show up. But now it's showing up because of the concealer. Literally, I want this color in my crease. Why was it not happening? I'm gonna try again later. We are going to take the Thirsty palette and we're gonna dip into Queen. That's this lighter shade with the Zoeva 237. So then I'm gonna take my Maria Malky number nine pigment and I'm gonna put this in the front. This is more of a, a yellow, goldish, white pigment. So I don't really have yellow glitters, but I'm gonna use the gold one from NYX a little bit and I'm gonna use the NYX glitter primer underneath it. And I'm gonna use the 237 detail shader by Zoeva. Just a little bit because I don't want to too much. Oh my god, this literally made it so much better. I love it. So now for the bottom side, we're gonna use obviously the same colors that we used before. So I'm gonna put a little bit of the black underneath it and also a little bit of slow burn and keen like in the front. I'm gonna take a bit of slow burn. So we're gonna use the pigment from Maria Malky number nine in our inner corner. Yes, because it has that yellow glow. How pretty is this pigment in the inner corner? Very pretty. Then now the only thing we're still gonna do for the eyes at the moment is to put a black waterline and I am going to use the Zero Eye Pencil by Urban Decay for that. Okay, I think I really like it. It's so bougie. I love it. Okay, then right now we first gonna bronze our face up because I need it. This quarantine life is not doing me good. And I'm gonna dip into the Too Faced Natural Face Palette with my Morphe E48 brush into Sunny Honey because I don't want it too, too dark today. So this one. From the moment you bring like live in your face again, it's getting so much better. Like it looks so much better. Like people who only do like foundation, like full coverage foundation, I don't understand. You have to shape again. I always say otherwise it's a blank canvas. Oh my god, forehead bronzer is like my all-time fave. The difference it makes is unbelievable. So I am gonna dip into the Coco Contour palette for my nose contour and I'm gonna use the MAC 217 brush and we're gonna dip into the medium Coco.
I'm gonna use the Too Faced Mr. Rye brush and we're gonna dip into a blush and I am gonna dip into the pink sand because I'm gonna have a lipstick that's kind of similar to this color so pink sand it is Okay guys, I love this look so much. I'm gonna do something really crazy and I know I'm gonna fuck it up, but I'm gonna do it anyway because we're on Cancel VL, his YouTube channel. These fucking bitches on the street, they think like, oh, it's quarantine, everybody's at home. We're just gonna play our music outside. Well, bitch, held out. Oh my god, they're pissing me off so much. And we can exaggerate with the blush again because we are gonna put something over it. Ooh. One side is like, blushed the house down, and the other side is like, Hello, can you give me a little bit of attention? Sorry sis, it's all about this side right now. So right now we are gonna highlight, and I'm gonna use the same highlight as I always almost use, because like, this is a like, neutral shade. It's a neutral shade, I don't want it goldish, even though I have like this gold. In my inner corner it would be really nice, I don't really like gold on my cheekbones. So I'm gonna use a sarcophagus by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. So we're gonna put it on the tip of our nose, obviously. Don't get the pressure. Don't get the pressure. We're also gonna put this underneath our eyebrow. Like this. Ooh! Ooh! Oh my lord. Oh my god, she's gorgeous. Oh my god. Carantini is doing a good pitch. <laughs> oh! Carantini is doing a good. I can see it there. <laughs> okay, so while we did this, I'm gonna do some setting spray on top of my face already because this is basically the face. I'm still gonna put the face paint on it, but obviously this is like, how can I say that? The face paint is an add-on. We're not gonna do the lips here because otherwise I'm gonna be like with my hand in the lipstick and putting it all over my face and the lashes I'm doing at last, but I'm gonna put some setting spray on top of it already and I'm gonna use the Morphe Jeffree Star Cosmetics Set and Refresh Mist. Feeling like strawberry shortcake right now. And I'm obsessed with it. Okay, one small detail that we forgot. I was gonna do full freckles. So we're gonna do them now. So I'm gonna use the Morphe Sweetie lip pencil and we're just gonna be like bam, bam, bam. Oh, you don't see anything, bitch. Don't fuck it up. Don't fuck it up. And I'm fucking it up. Like, what the fuck is that? What the fuck am I doing? Oh my god, I'm fucking it up. No, 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 no. So these are not it, sis. So I'm gonna use this Piffy by Morphe and hope that it's gonna be better. Okay, I have like fucking freckles in every fucking color, but not the color that it should be. <laughs> But when we put the face paint on, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine, honey. Okay, dear people, right now is the moment that I'm probably gonna fuck it up. I'm gonna write Kenzo on top of my face and I'm gonna use the Precisely My Brow Pencil from Benefit for it to dry it first. And then we're gonna obviously fill it in. We're first gonna start with the N because that's the one that's in the middle, obviously. And I'm so scared, I have to take a look how I am gonna do this. Okay, yeah, we're gonna draw two parts already, that's what we're gonna do, and then just connect them. So this is gonna become the end. Oh my god, why am I doing this to myself? Kenzo. Can't really see that it's Kenzo. That's fucked up. It would have been a lot easier if I could put like tape or something so it was like straight, but obviously I can't put tape because otherwise my foundation is gone. Okay, so bottom line, we have to do it like this. So right now we're gonna fill this in with the NYX Cosmetics SFX Cream Color in white. And we're gonna hope for the best. Okay, we see Ken already. Obviously, it's not detailed, so we still gonna adjust that. But overall, I think we can say that it's gonna come together. Oh, 
Okay guys, I'm what? Sick and tired of it, yeah. I'm sick and tired of it, but there's Kenzo on my face, so whatever. I'm gonna do my lips right now, and I'm gonna use this Sweet Tea Lip Liner from Morphe. And I'm gonna use my Tom Ford's lipstick in Velvet Orchid 59. Mwah. Okay, mama. If these people are not gonna shut the fuck up outside, then I'm gonna lose my fucking marbles. I'm gonna lose my marbles, bitch. So right now we are going to use the Maria Malky lashes with the Maria Malky glue. And I am going for the Mila lashes, which are super, super cute. Like that. And then we're gonna use the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. Okay, sis, and then this is the finished look. Do I love it? I absolutely love the eyes. But yeah, I wish I didn't do the Kenzo on top of my face, but I did it anyway, so I can't change it anymore. Anyway, guys, this is the finished look. I hope you guys like it. And if you like it, then please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up because I've been sitting here for way too long. And y'all should be like, oh, Kenzo was there for so long. We're gonna give him a like and a share and a subscribe. So please do that. And yeah, like I said, I hope you guys like it. And if you like it, then please give it a big thumbs up, like, subscribe, and share. And then I will see See you in another video. Bye everyone!